Sigma has released their newly developed Sigma FP camera and we gained exclusive access to document the first images from the production line. Cinema 5D was one of the few media representatives invited to the launch event of the new Sigma FP camera in Tokyo, Japan. The company also announced the release of a few new lenses. But the real star of the event was of course this tiny full-frame camera, which is truly appealing to us, the filmmakers. It's the next morning here in Tokyo and, you guessed it right, I have a train to catch. I'm heading to the Sigma factory. Almost a tradition by now. The train. On our way to the Sigma factory in Aizu, we had to make a transfer and take a second train. And this one is announcing the departure with an interesting music. After a short ride, we are finally here. It's been over a year since my last visit. Hello, nice to see you again. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure to be back. Shinji-san is my designated guide. We're gonna make you famous. And he is taking me to the best place one can go after a long trip. It's lunchtime company's dining room. So what's on the menu? We have curry rice, udon, Japanese soba, fish, uh, chicken, and a special Chinese cold ramen. It's a vegetarian. That's going to be my lunch. Ramen. A good meal and a very relaxing view. Now I'm ready to go. So the camera is already in full production. Of course we cannot see everything, but let's take a look at whatever we can see. During this tour, I had the opportunity to meet one of the engineers from Sigma and we talked a bit about some of the technical aspects of the Sigma FP camera. You just introduced a new camera, the FP, yeah. and we have some questions. Now, before uh, everybody's jumping, there are still a lot of unanswered questions like about log picture profile and frame rates and so on. Uh, this is because the specifications are not 100% locked yet. And I guess you are investigating some of the um, uh, issues, let, let's call it. So let's be happy with what we can hear and hopefully uh, be satisfied with some of the answers that we get. The interview will be done in, uh, in Japanese. I will ask the, uh, the questions in English. Yoshino-san will answer in Japanese. So let's start. Yeah. えっと、このカメラはシグマとして初めてのベイヤーセンサーで、あの、非常にコンパクトで、あの、シネマも撮れる、スチルも撮れる。あの、非常に機能も盛り込まれた、あの、意欲的な製品です。今までのあの、フォ
このカメラを小さくするために工夫したことはまずシャッターをなくしましたあと、えー、外装はあのアルミニウムを使っておりますあとはヒートシンクその辺の、えー、と技術を使うことによってコンパクトに作ることができました When I was playing a little bit with the camera, I saw that the touch screen is only for autofocus, but not for the menu. Is there any reason why the touch screen is also not for navigating the menu? Menu で touch panel を採用しなかったのは、メニュー、あの小さすぎて、メニューを選ぶのはあまり、あメニューをタッチでやるのはあまり意図は考えなかったんで、今回は採用見送ってます。Unfortunately, during this visit, I was able to film the camera body parts only. We hope to come back again in the near future and document more stages of the building process of this interesting camera. Just before heading back to Tokyo, we stopped at the Tsuruga Jo Castle, where I was able to briefly test the new Sigma 35mm f1.2 full frame E mount lens. Attached to my trusted Sony A7 III. This lens is very fast and sharp, certainly a welcomed addition to Sigma's growing full frame lens arsenal. For now, I will leave you with some images that I took with this lens. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.